hi guys welcome back to my channel so we'll continue from where we left off in my last video so you heard where I collected my documents from the United States Embassy in the UK I just want to tell you a little bit about what happened before leading up to and after that so while this is happening uh, Grady has already given my file to about 10 or 12 different hospitals all over the United States in regions that I said I'd be happy to go to. And so remember I told you that they outline all the skills you've acquired, what you've done over your nursing, what your specialty is, and they presented your files to all these hospitals. So of the nine hospitals that they selected for me, I did Skype interviews, and I'm pleased to say I got job with all hospitals. So then it came down to a choice of where I wanted to live. So me, my husband, and my children, we took out a board and we wrote down all the things that O'Grady told us the place had to offer because they sent me a big thick booklet online with schools, how close living accommodation was to the hospital, just everything in the area that you could possibly want. Shopping, how to get around, all the stuff that was in the area for kids, tourist attraction, you name it, they sent it to me in a booklet. So first thing was first was looking for schools for the children and so they sent us a list of schools uh, in the area that we wanted to live. I also was sent a booklet of estate agents, apartment, apartment complexes that O'Grady themselves were affiliated with. The apartments that they showed me I didn't really like so they told me that I was free once I knew the address of the hospital I was going to look for housing in that area and so that's what I did. So I found an apartment I got in touch with them, said what I wanted, and through a Grady who acted as my stand-in, they secured the apartment for me by paying one month's rent, one month's deposit, which I had to pay back by the way, so it's not free. And then once I secured the apartment, then we couldn't do anything about school until you're physically in the country, and we came when it was um, holiday so the kids wouldn't have gone to school as yet until probably a couple of weeks time so all that was happening at the same time leading up to me collecting my documents so housing check uh area for living check hospital check so all that and at the same time i was packing boxes i got in with a shipping company that did transatlantic shipping so we just decided we were gonna take some memorabilia a few things for my children no big furniture because it's quite expensive to ship stuff so I think it was about 10 boxes so my boxes were off to America and I was just left in the UK to tie up some loose ends it was all rush 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 because O'Grady wanted me here ASAP to start the contract let's tell you some other things that was going on um, O'Grady is very good they cover all bases so in the months leading up to me going for my green card appointment O'Grady put me in touch with a a car dealership they're not a dealership they're called international auto source and they help to buy a car for you before you even get here so we decided that you know it would be good because we're going somewhere we don't know and we would need access to transport not like London where you have a bus a train or everything you need right at the next bus stop so what they did they put us in contact with car dealership and in partnership with O'Grady, who at this point is my reference since I have no credit in the United States, they helped me to source a vehicle. They sent us documents um, online, car dealership that they use and any vehicle you wanted, it was there. So we chose our vehicle with them. Provided we did this, O'Grady gave us a car, a rent a car for the entire duration until our car was ready for us to pick up. So we didn't have to worry about transport. Um, everything was waiting. 
for us so that's another check so transportation check housing check hospital work check so it was all getting a bit exciting and very real this was two years in the making so finally everything was set and then after we got our immigrant visa picked up our documents a grady call and was like yes you need to book tickets in the heart of summer guys i don't know if you've ever traveled from the uk to anywhere on the planet but traveling at that time of year is ridiculous the tickets that we uh looked up came up to about six thousand pounds one way to the united states by the way i chose virginia in case i didn't say that before the tickets one way for four of us two adults and two children six thousand pounds so i told a granny that there's no way i'm paying that amount to travel one way if we could leave it for another time they were like no you actually had this job from last year the hospital's been waiting so we need to get a move on i should let you know that had i been moving by myself a grady would have foot the bill because they pay for you that is what it says in their contract once you sign up that they would pay for your ticket at no cost to you nothing that you'd have to pay back so had i been traveling by myself they would have just paid a one-way ticket for me but it gets a little bit more complicated when you're moving with your loved ones so these tickets were six thousand i told her grady there's no way i'm spending so much money on one-way tickets so grady found a ticketed agent who uh, advised me that probably rather than doing a direct flight to the United States we could do like a connection at first I was against it but then when they expressed that you know I could get a flight from London going to Amsterdam and then get a connection from Amsterdam via KLM to come directly to Washington. And so exploring that option seemed to be the cheapest, even though still ridiculously expensive. So I took that offer up and actually I was quite pleased because I'd never gone that route before and it was really good. So tickets are bought and we're ready to fly. And I understand there's a 10 minute YouTube video rule, so I think I'm gonna stop for here. But stay tuned for my next video where we'll just wrap up my moving and the beginning of my contract with O'Grady Payton. So, thanks for watching, guys. Share, like, subscribe, and if there are any questions that you want to ask me, you can uh, contact me with my information below. 